What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we're in our school bus and we're in Jasper, Indiana. So as you guys just found out um, on our last video, we did sell the toter home. So until we can get our new one going and figured out, we are going to be working on the camper. A lot of you have asked about it when it's in the background and videos. Um, we've just now kind of made time to work on it simply because we haven't had time and we thought well we don't need it yet and now we need it and the rod runs in what two weeks yeah so this thing was totally gutted now we're redoing it yeah so home depot is the only place we can get the white paneling we got to run in here get our paneling we brought the school bus so we have room to put the paneling in case and, it rains in case it rains and also we brought Haley and Jayla and the dogs with us so this was the perfect vehicle for today's project so i guess let's run in here to home depot grab our paneling and let's head back to the shop here, let me hold 34 dollars a sheet Golly. oh oh, oh. Load it up. Maybe we can go get some ice cream. There is a Culver's right down the road. What do you think? Ice cream? Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we are in the camper. This is your guys' first view in the camper. I just now realized that. Yeah. So, um. Okay. Then make a noise. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So we've got the tin roof. Corey's got these lights. He's been working hard these last three days. Um, we are putting up the paneling now. And I said, well, honey, how are you going to measure the archway? He's come up with an idea and he started to do it. And I said, hang on, this might help people. So um, for those of you well, wanting actually, to learn to restore a um, camper, look no further. I don't know. You might want to look away. <laughs> Um, so we're in our camper. It's an old Yellowstone camper. Hannah found this thing on Marketplace a while back. And I'm trying to make the radius up here. Well, I don't really know how to do it, but I got an idea in my head how I did the other side, which I didn't record. But I'm going to show you guys how I kind of figured out to do this side to do this side. So I guess uh, let's do it. All right, so this is what I got. As you can see, it's hitting up here and I need to make this radius. So kind of what I thought was I got this piece of trim. I'm just going to find the, the longest point of the camper. I'm going to set this here and then I'm just going to simply draw me a line here so I know that's where my marker needs to stay. And then we're just going to simply go up. As long as my marker stays on this green line, it'll get us real close and we can trim it out. I don't, know. I don't really know how else to do it, but this is what we're going to do. Metal ceiling's making that hard for you, yeah, ain't it? Yeah, it's a little tricky. <laughs> All right, so there's the top. Okay. And then start where we was. I just thought that was so, I mean, intelligent. <laughs> Not very smart, but some things I can figure out. <laughs> You didn't know you were married to a genius, did you? I had no idea. I mean, I don't know how else to do it. So I, that looks pretty good. Yeah. I think. So yeah, we're going to cut it. And then, um, meantime, while I'm cutting it, maybe Hannah can kind of give you a tour. Yeah. 
Yeah, don't blink because the tour will be over. Yeah, we got to finish out some trim. <laughs> I got some trim ideas. That's what this came, this is what I'm using this for was trim to go around the edges because, uh, for example, see how it kind of looks kind of crappy through here where it's high and low, the insulation's pushing down. Well, I found this PVC trim and I'm gonna set it up here like this and that allows me to make the radius such as up here in that corner. She can show you that. I got yes. That one's too short, I gotta redo it. These were just kind of my guinea pig pieces to see if they would even work. I'm not no carpenter by no means, but this has been a fun little project. You're on your way. Yeah, I even wired it. Look at this. I got a fuse box. Fuse box. I got light switches that do things. I got some outlets to do things. We're getting there. So, anyways, we bought this thing back in October. You guys have seen it on the channel in the background. And as you guys know, we sold the toter home, so we have to have something to live in for three days in Tennessee. Okay, well, welcome to my 1963, I think is what it was. Um, it says Cavalier, and there's a Yellowstone. So, I love this thing. I don't know why, it just, I was drawn to it. Now, we've only got maybe, what? I might put that five, on five. five, six days in this thing. You have three days. Well, Corey has three days, so I work Thursday through Saturday, open to close at the restaurant. And Corey kept FaceTiming me, do you want this, do you want this? Because we just sold the toter home last week and it kind of dawned on us, we have nothing to stay in for Rod Run, so. Which Brian and Heather said we could stay with them, but we don't want to be a, a burden. So we need a good excuse to get this done anyways. Yeah, yeah, that, I mean, you know us and our deadlines. We needed something to just put a little fire under our butt. <laughs> here is what it looks like now. We've got a little zinc here. My um, grandpa always says he will not say sink. He calls it a zinc. A zinc. It's a zinc. Um, well, we've got the zinc right here. It is the original zinc that was in this. We've got to get like faucet. I don't know. Faucet things. Is that yep. what it's called? Faucet. Faucet. Yep. So we've got to get that. We'll have this amount of cabinet space, which is normal for these little campers. So I really like the open concept kind of deal with the shelves. Yeah. Yeah. Open Your shelves. ET baskets. Yes. These are my ET baskets that I bought from whenever we got the uh, crew cab Dodge. I bought these and all of the metal. So I kind of knew I wanted... We were gonna put the metal in the snap-on truck, but... We sold it, so we don't yeah. have to worry about it. So, my fridge, I've got the stuff for it, the little handles, but while we're working on it, I didn't want those to get broke off. So now they're and, in the freezer freezing and ice cubed over. Yeah, so my um, father-in-law and mother-in-law, they got me the set for Christmas. I absolutely adore them. I wish they were like giant to put them in the house, but... I think they go great in here, and this will obviously over here be the chair with the table that folds down into a bed. I want just a normal bed. It's going to be a twin size bed. That means you'll be able to cuddle with me a little more. <laughs> Corey sleeps like this. I... So, he sleeps like a starfish, so I'm going to have maybe like this triangle to sleep in on the twin bed. So I might be converting this. I don't know. Fuse box here in the back. A little... Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. But ran all this wiring. Got us... Uh, these are the front lights. The rear lights here. Little can lights. I put a light on the front. So we can see it dark. Got all the metal in it. We're moving right together. along. We're coming. We're getting there. So I'm going to go cut this piece. You guys just seen me uh, draw that out. Hopefully this works. So we're gonna cut that out and kind of go from there. I had my safety glasses on that whole time. Show them. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right, let's see if it fits. Um, and CWC is now Corey Week Carpentry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Can you weld that back together? Yeah. Actually, I have an idea. If I take, hold on, guys. Okay. Hold Are on. you gonna do what? Um, what's that guy's name? Bad Chad. Yeah, what he's been doing? Right. Showing people how to fix things. Oh, well. Out of the ordinary. Oh gosh, what are you doing? You guys all know I take the, the guard off my grinder. I'm about to take the guard off that stupid saw. And my little screw thing left the chat. It's all right. I could fix it, but. You want, you'd want rather complain about it. I'd rather, well, I'd rather hear you guys complain. I know in the comments, you are so unsafe. I know. I know. What? Oh, the dust is choking me up. Terrible. Don't, so, look, don't look good neither. <laughs> put this up in there. Like that. Like that right there. That should be good. You like it, Vern? Mm hmm. Well, now we gotta cut the door out. So we're just gonna simply come over here, trace it out. I can cut the rest out. I will say I might not be no Aaron and Julie Goins on the camper, but we are doing something. They're probably watching this thinking, Oh we my god, the trip and helped them. <laughs> Actually, this is Julie and Aaron's fault we bought this. <laughs> Would you look at that? Corey is doing the job that I, you literally just touched that to your mouth. It's cotton candy. Corey is doing the job that I cannot do. This stuff breaks me out. I'm built different. I think it looks great. Perfect. Sorta. It's burning my eye hole. I know. I ain't going in there right now. Oh. Oh. So we are putting insulation. Back in it before you're like, oh, you got to insulate that. Here it is. We've got to fix a little bit of rot back here and whatnot. So I got to fix this here. This board here is good, but that rot there, little piece back there. And I got our trailer lights trying to wire them up. So I can't really do the back of it until the wiring is complete. Man, it's it really is raining. coming along. I love this thing so far. I might just move in to this thing when we're done. I am in love with it already. Do you want me to help you pack your bags? I don't need no help. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my, you're going to leave me with the cat? Yeah, yes. Okay. 
think that's going to be it for tonight. We are definitely getting tired. Hopefully, we can hit this thing pretty hard tomorrow, but it is the eclipse day tomorrow. We're helping with the restaurant. They're serving food outside, doing like a little food truck kind of deal. Then I have to go to the gym, usually shortly after we get home. So, who knows what we'll get done. But if not, we'll hit a hard Tuesday, I guess. All right. I guess we'll see him later. See you in the morning. All right, guys. We have been a little bit absent just because we went to Lowe's and picked stuff out. I'm really excited. Some of this stuff I've never even heard about. I was going to use peel and stick for the backsplash but we found this other cool stuff that was cheaper and we can tape it this is like a adhesive marble roll-on that i think we're going to be using for this here so i'm excited to see it all come together um there's just been a lot of measuring and figuring out stuff so we haven't really been recording a whole lot today but i can't wait i think it's gonna look amazing when we're done all right, well, I finally got this closet hanger in there. That's a really confined space and hard to measure and do everything. But yeah, in the meantime, yeah, it was real annoying. So in the meantime, Hannah is smoothing out her countertop. She found this uh, stick on marble countertop stuff. But the problem with it, it's like real paper thin. So it would show all the little indentions where we put screws in it. So I mixed her up some Bondo and she's filling in some holes. And then she'll sand it down and we'll put this uh, stuff on top of the countertop, I guess. We don't know how any of this is gonna work. This is not what we do. So we'll see, we're along for the ride with you guys. All right, so Corey is getting ready to cut the last piece Finally. for the back wall. And then I'm going to be sanding this down. We put Bondo all over it and it's still a little tacky. So. Might wait just a second to dry it, but we've got everything coming together. A little bit more insulation, and then we gotta trim it all out. So we're really not that far off, and we gotta trim this a little bit. We gotta figure out what door she wants on there. We gotta put some metal up underneath here, and we gotta finish the backsplash. We're getting there, slowly but surely. <laughs> All right, we found this Hannah Jr. Old Jaybird's gonna be helping, putting some paneling up. We got the paneling all done everywhere, but now we're gonna use this as our backsplash. It's gonna go right here. Jaybird's been getting the nails ready for us. Oh, Sam, oh yeah. All right, let's put them on there. Corey's got our um, backsplash. I think it's beautiful. And then we'll see if this lines up. I should have took, <laughs> forgot about that red. Mm. Yeah, good thing we got one too many. <laughs> yeah. Unless you put trim in that corner and scooted this over. Yeah. You could do that because it needs to come over there. And then yeah. just put a little line of trim. Well, we got an extra one. We can just yeah. cut longer. Okay. We do it right because we do it twice. <laughs> That's right. Very true. I didn't take consideration for that. Can you fit in there? Jayla, you blend in with if that I white. Fit in my locker, so I have to fit in here. <laughs> you fit. If she fits, she ships. Oh, oh. hey, that's my fireball. Oh, I forgot. I'm Where's the babysitting. Here. It's okay. Yeah. I'm babysitting. Sh <laughs> All right. It's a shame it's not just a tiny bit longer, but we're going to put trim back here so it'll look fine. Yeah. All right. You want to film? Sure. All right, you guys, I'll get Jayla, so sorry. Oh. <laughs> you 
You think this stuff is gonna work? I don't know. I'm honestly kind of nervous about it. Well, good night. Well, you're supposed to be helping. Corey. Hold on to that. I'm going to. No, I'm not ready. Now just get it to the strip. Here, go your, pull it your I way. Honey, pull your weight, look. It's like a giant sticker. Well, that's crazy. You can kind of see the blue underneath. It don't matter. No. All right, green guy. I wonder if it waxed me. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're ready to put the sink in and we got this cheap little faucet from lowe's it's like 26 bucks figured nothing fancy in this thing we're gonna run a uh, i don't know run the plumbing out through the side of the camper or whatever we might put a fresh water tank in it but not for now that uh, we'll set the fresh water tank in here if we do but for now we're just gonna drill some holes put this baby in here like that and I think we're good to go. What do you think? I think so. Clean up the zinc. Yep. I need your My fire. Corey's fire. Corey's yeah. fire bottle. All right. So we have the backsplash and the marble countertops. My goodness. And, the and faucet. before you say anything about this ugly sink, it's just going to have to be. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it for now. For now, we'll just have it like that. But that looks beautiful. We've got to put the um, barn metal, like the ceiling, under here. Who knows if this is going to work? We'll see how long this lasts. Have you seen what? This. I see it right now. So we are getting ready. You're getting ready. Okay, we're trim. getting ready to pull this trim in and see how long it goes. Because we're probably... Pretty sure it's not gonna go around the whole thing. Hopefully this works. Well, hang on, let me get my, let me set this. Oh. Put yours down in the corner. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, well. Okay, well maybe we should start on that end. That way the seam is hidden in the back. piece of something to go under that because we still got to think yeah. about the piece of plywood could you not cut that later whenever, yeah or not maybe no. okay hello what i do think is right here since it's at that bend i think it's going to look kind of funky if we just put another piece up to it so we're going to have to cut it on a straight piece and start bending there um just because i feel like we put one here it's just gonna kind of be yeah a little realistically i would like for this to be turned whoa turn thought it was attacking me <laughs> have this turn this way but it won't bend that way mm -hmm. it'll only bend this way so that's why it is what it is but it's gonna look better than it unfinished so all right i'm gonna go get my drill you ready homie push Push harder? Yeah. Okay. How'd you like that? <laughs> all right, I will have to say that works pretty good. So all that is is some PVC trim. It made that contour really nice. And then how I knew where the studs were, I just simply took a black um, dry erase marker and marked it on the paneling here and just wipe it off when we're done. and. We're good to go. Moving on to the next project. I got to do a trim on the other side. All right. So Hannah's sister came over with her sewing machine and she's leaving us to it, which um, is kind of dangerous because we're learning together on this. And I'm just holding the trot. I don't even know what they got going. 
I was just in charge of the interior of the camper. I mean, I know this is the interior, but this is not, yeah. So we're gonna try this again. And then you go backwards. Why are you going backwards? So. <laughs> Do you want me to pull it? No, it feeds itself. It feeds itself? Mm -hmm. And the throttle is very, very touchy. Corey. I'm just looking. Look, there's a line right here. Okay. And I can tell well, where I'm going. Stay on it straight. Why, am I not? Yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure you do a good job. After this, can we make it some like pajamas and Isn't stuff? Isn't it funny? Like, we're going to be homesteaders. <laughs> Next thing you know, we're going to be making our own bread. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to knit me a pair okay. of underwear. Right there, go. Put your thing down. Corey, I'm going to put my thing down. <laughs> you got to pull it this way. Okay. <laughs> pull that thing out. Stop, I'm reversing. <laughs> okay. Alright. Now we're gonna go forward. <laughs> Come that way. Go that way. Okay. 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 Oh, oh, oh. oh it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Let's stop. Simmer down. It's touchy. Hang on, don't be pulling nothing. I'm not. It's gonna pull itself. Well, here's the thing. I wasn't in here when Hannah measured this. <laughs> so we might have, I we didn't... gotta do like four curtains. So I... all four court, all four. Curtains. All the it's light, it's light. <laughs> all four curtains. Quartons? <laughs> are gonna probably look different because she didn't measure anything, I don't think. Or did you? So I actually, the lemons are seven inches. But then we hemmed them up, so now I don't know. But as long as you start off with what you had, and then this we started with. Um, we did twenty-seven width ways, and then down ways we did. Um, if we've got almost sixteen now, then we did eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe that's what we did. But I think we could just do like maybe a. No, we did 17. So, because we'll that's my favorite number. Just do 17 and hem it up. Oh, no. Well, I'm trying to do it. So, if we do 17, and then we just fold it up. Until you see, get 15 and a half. But see, look at this. This is a flap. <laughs> I don't know what you got going on. <laughs> I don't either. Um, okay, so that's how we can do it. Well, but you want to sew them in the end. Um, I want everything to match. Hannah could care less. She didn't want to do this. Well, that's just dumb. Yeah, but it's going to fray. No, look how... Okay, so this is where I started. <laughs> okay, that is what I, but I realized I didn't put the flapper down. So then it's now like this. Like it goes from that to this. And I think it looks lovely. Okay. No. Corey has never <laughs> sewn in his life. Right after this, I'm knitting me some underwear. <laughs> Until <laughs> underwear. All right. So if you're wondering what's all over my face, tonight was Nerf gun night at the church. I took Jayla and she drew some war paint on me. So we got a twin size mattress here. We're getting ready to let it loose and... It's crazy how they get this twin size mattress so compact. I mean, it literally, let me turn this around. I'll show you guys. And look at that thing, that thing. Yeah, 
It's crazy that they packed a mattress in that small of a, a package. There's the box that came in. Just an old cheap one from Walmart. Here we go, let's see. Probably end up cutting the mattress and won't be no good after this. We'll just go nice and slow. Here we go. Oh, here we go. It's going. It's going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> there it went. <laughs> It did go real fast. There. Just like that. Well, there you go. You got a twin size bed. Now we just got to get uh, the plastic sheeting off of it unless Hannah decides to pee the bed. <laughs> okay, so we have the camper moved. It is looking amazing inside. Um, I went and got a, I guess like a bed set for it because we don't have a twin bed set. I go home and these pillowcases were literally up to here. I said, what the heck is this? I look at the package and it said King. I didn't know they made King pillowcases, but that is gonna come in handy for us. We took the original cushions and we're gonna take the King size pillowcases that she accidentally got and use them for the dining room. I say dining room, the dining room area um, covers. We were trying to sew up some covers, but um, this was kind of already established, so we're just going to try to use what we can. So that's what we got going on. All right, so while Hannah finishes up the interior and putting the, the seats together in the front, I'm going to go ahead and tackle the door on this thing. If you guys have noticed, there is no door. It's got the screen door, but the main door... I uh, was kind of just thrown in it and it's in rough, rough shape. So hopefully we can save it. We really don't have no choice because where are you going to find a door for a 1960s model Yellowstone? It's, you're probably not going to. So I'm going to turn this thing around and show you guys what I'm working with here. Look, it's all separated. It's pretty rough. If you, I don't know. There you guys go. You can see how floppy this thing is. But yeah, it looks like they made it out of some kind of cardboard or something. I don't know exactly what that is. It looks like just some pressed cardboard, probably an inch thick of cardboard. But we're going to take this thing apart. I think the only thing holding it together is this windowsill. We're going to take the windowsill out. I got some Advantech. This is only a three-quarter. I figured I'll use this and then put a quarter inch of um, like a thinner plywood on top of it to come up with the inch. So that's kind of my plan. I just got to tackle it. All right, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get this out. I'm sure it probably just pushes out. I'm gonna slick it up a little bit. I don't even know if that's gonna do anything, but we're gonna try it. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Did it get you? Well, yeah, it got me. <laughs> All right, well, that didn't work. Dang. Well, we need a new glass. Well, apparently that wasn't the proper way to do it. I was figuring if I just keep pushing it down, it would just kind of pop out, pop that sill. Didn't work. Didn't work at all. So got a little tore up on that one, but got me a doctor, got me a nurse here. She keeps a nur uh, nurse, nurse aid kit, a first aid kit on hand just for me. I right, have to now. <laughs> there you go. You guys finally got it. You got to see me get hurt. That's all you guys wanted to see. I know you're going to get hurt one day, but there you go. There's me getting hurt. Man, that one's... Yeah, that one's pretty deep.
it stay on there and will it shut? window or a door no, I mean never that's the first time we bought we bought this thing with the door just kind of slung inside of it man that's pretty cool it works yeah we gotta put some caulking around that window of course but I think Hannah wants to paint this door white so we're gonna do that and I think that's very well for us for now we still got tons of stuff to finish up on this thing we uh, ordered tires for it I would really like to paint the wheels, but who knows if that'll happen. So next time you see us, we'll be at Rod Rod. So that's right. To see a lot of you. Um, I thought about just pulling this thing around the whole time because I love it and it's cute. And then we can hang out in it on the strip. I think that's maybe the kind of the plan, but I guess let's get up here and tell these fair, uh, fine people farewell. Farewell, people. Fine, goodbye. <laughs> All right, guys, like we were saying, that's going to be the end of this video. It's farewell for us, but we still got tons of work left to do on this thing, but uh, we're out of time for this video. We cannot wait to go to the Rod Run. As you all know, it's one of our favorite shows, and I'm sure someone's going to say Rod Run, but you don't say where. So Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, Rod Run. Um, and we'll also keep you guys up to date in, on when and where we'll be down there. So keep a lookout on the YouTube community side of things and also on the Corey B. Custom Facebook. All, uh, we're going to get down there Wednesday, but we're probably just going to set up Wednesday. So I'll let you guys know what we're doing Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, where and when we'll be and what times. We'd love to meet you guys. And um, if you see the welder rig and the camper, Stop in. If the camper is even done, we still got to do tires, bearings, trim, a bunch of other stupid little stuff, but we got a package and we're going to let you guys go. Here, let me hold it. It is from Mike from Marion, North Carolina. North Carolina. Here we go. Maybe no. it's Marion. I don't know. Oh my gosh. It's a dog. <laughs> what was that dog? Uh, me, I, I, I met you guys at the Rod Run. You guys had the little dog, and that dog was a cool little dude. <laughs> Corey is like the dog and cat whisperer. I, he's like Snow White, and he can just hum a little tune, and all the animals come. Um, I'm going to read this. All right. I see something teal. We met these uh, people here at the Rod Run. I do remember them last uh, fall. Randy, Don, Devin, and Blake. It is well within oh, myself. Oh my gosh, that matches the camera. I know, going it does. in there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's almost perfect. <laughs> I love this. Lock and lube. Okay, that's pretty cool. So what Grease is this? Grease couple. Oh. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Got me a little lock and lube. We, we'll probably use that on the old camper here in a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Corey, what do you think the dog's name if you had one guess? I don't know. It was a girl. I remember the dog, but I forgot its name. I know it was shaking all the time. Ginger. Ginger. <laughs> well, bring Ginger to the Well, that's right, because you had... <laughs> yeah. What? At night, I remember it. Was... Yeah, it was sitting there shaking the whole time. I was like, is this thing scared or cold? She was just excited. Look. Oh my gosh. Are those out of wood? Yeah. I wonder if they do this. Yeah, one more thing, guys. Oh, I love these. Well, they knew what color paper to get. I think I know what it is. Oh, okay. I thought it was safety glasses for me, but these are... <laughs> I think you should still put them on and show them. These are definitely not sunglasses <laughs> or safety glasses for me. I'm, th I'm thinking these are probably Hannah's. Let me see them. Man, on they you. got your on camera. You. Oh. Let me see. Okay, those are adorable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Try them on. Man. Are they the right size? They look perfect. One size fits all. Man, these are The match nice. little paper. Let me look at that. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we really appreciate the gift. Thank you guys so much. And thank you guys, all you guys that are watching right now. We couldn't do it without you guys. But without us rambling on, we hope you guys have a great night. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.
We'll see you at the Rod Run. Keep up to date on YouTube community and Facebook. All right. It is the next day. I brought out a familiar build for you guys. The 69 International Lodestar. I decided why not take it. So here is one. I gotta go back to the house and grab. I might grab the mouse trap if the battery um, is up. I got it charging. But yeah, so I figured we'd bring out the Lodestar. It hasn't been out for a while, so why not, right? Oh yeah, look at her. She is looking good. Got the old mouse trap running. to get the old hearse going as soon as we clear up some projects pulling it in i got a 12 valve and an nv 4500 five speed transmission going in the hearse i don't know when i'm gonna get to it but as soon as we get something cleared out of the shop we're definitely getting that in there very very soon Alright, so we've been having a good time. We got the trucks and the mouse trap all parked over there at Smoking Gems, and I felt like the limo was missing out. So I had Hannah's little sister give me a ride home, picked up the limo, and um, that's really the only other thing we have that drives that's old. So now the fleet should be complete. I went and got my welding helmet too. I'm gonna use it during the eclipse. It looked like Ray oh, Charles. Hi. It really is doing something, ain't it? <laughs> it's like a moon. Oh, baby. It's getting there. It's getting so close. I told myself I wasn't going to like geek out about it, but it's actually pretty cool. I will admit. It's getting dark and it's getting cooler out. We got Jayla Duck over here. Jimmy's trying to. I'm not really sure what Jimmy's doing, but Jimmy's doing Jimmy stuff. I feel like we're all tornado watching. Yep. <laughs> tornado watch. Man, it's just a little sliver, homie. Look at the star. Where? There's a star up there. Right yeah. there's a star. Oh. There it is. Oh. What do you think, babe? Yeah. I'm cold. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> <It's> cold. <laughs> Do a time lapse. Something, something, something. All right, show us what you got. I did it that time. Give her more beans. your strategy well my blocks are getting stolen so at this point nothing <laughs> 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 the green machine got me down. 
You look like um, you're a baker and got a bunch of dust on you. You look like you've been snorting some cocaine. Could be.